asshole to elbow. So yeah, my girl is dropping cash. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> During this crisis, along with the doctors and nurses, it would seem that the minimum wage workers have risen to the level of hero. These people don't care. They can't even cook a frozen burger and assemble a Big Mac. They can't get my order correct, so why do they deserve more money? Why does some weirdo at Walmart need more money? Now these are just some of the things that the same people that are championing the minimum wage workers' cause have said. Now, someone says they don't care to trust their safety to the minimum wage worker, and the self-righteous do-gooders grab their poster board and markers ready to take to the streets. As I am sure many of these workers take pride in what they do, some don't. Let's also consider that these minimum wage workers only do what they are told and are allowed. If the corporate big wigs say to spray a cart, they spray. If they say wipe, they wipe. They don't and can't make corporate decisions. If disinfectant, wipes and gloves are not available for public purchase, then it is highly unlikely those things would be available to just have sitting around outside the store. Do you really spin that wheel and pray for the best? Do you hope you get the good worker that is glad they can still make a paycheck and that follows the rules? Are you confident you don't get the slacker that would rather be home and does the minimal amount of work for minimum wage? It's perfectly fine to rush to the defense of the people that are working. I get it that your small-minded perception of the people you now and always have relied on has been put into focus. The realization has hit that you truly need them, but only because it is the new trend and you surely can't allow yourself to go against the grain. Out of your ivory tower, dismount your high horse and step off your soapbox. You don't care about these people until you needed them. You still really don't care. You just need to go with the flow. Follow the trend. Your need to lash out far outweighs your admiration of the object of your chivalry. You need to fit in and be perceived as a kind, brave truth-teller that stands up for the little guy is what drives your sudden change of heart. Now, you may fool yourself. You may fool your friends. Hell, you may even fool some gullible folks that spend the majority of their life on the internet. But you don't fool me. Some people even say that I'm her lapdog. And they call me Parker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, in here. So be it. I'm Blind Views, and that's the way I see it.